Another day, another bee secret. Honeybees are like foraging machines. While a single honeybee will make less than a teaspoon of honey in its lifetime, 60,000 bees in a colony all adds up to a lot of flying and gathering. Honeybees fly as little as possible but as far as necessary to find the resources they need, including nectar, pollen, water, and plant resins. But just how far can a honeybee fly to gather those resources? The common answer is up to around 5 miles from the hive. But this would be the exception to the rule and likely only when closer resources are not available. For the sake of efficiency, a typical foraging radius of 1 to 2 miles is more common, provided resources are available within this range. This range is still considerably greater than those of other bees, like mason and bumblebees, which prefer to forage within a few hundreds of yards of their home. Like the rest of us, honeybees try to conserve energy, they fly as far as they must but no further. Extreme 5, 6, or more miles take so much energy that the bees use nearly all the nectar or water they collect. The maximum distance that makes collection worthwhile depends on many things, including the climate and weather. Variables like wind, rain, or excessive heat can make those long trips dangerous, too. Scout bees, those assigned to find rich sources of food and water, also keep colony efficiency high. By keeping the majority of the bees close to home while a few scouts fly further afield, colony energy expenditure can be kept at a minimum. The scouts who find something valuable will note its location and then go back to the hive to announce the position and richness of the find. If too many hives are placed close together, the bees will be forced to fly further from their hives. The same applies when supplies run low, such as during a nectar dearth. Some may actually fly further than is beneficial, using up most or all of their haul before getting home. At the same time, some may not even try to forage. Some beekeepers believe that the great amount of bearding you see during a nectar dearth are foragers that chose to stay home rather than aimlessly waste energy. The next time you see a honeybee foraging on a flower, pull up the map. That bee could be from a hive a mile away, or up to five. Drawing a circle, you will see this is a huge area, tens of thousands of acres. The last thing we can call a honeybee is lazy. Be well and subscribe.